Now it's time to get to the analytical part of our program. I am currently joined by international lawyer and political commentator Orhan Omashov. Hey, welcome, Orhan. Today I would like to discuss middle power. You know there is growing opinion among think tanks and policymakers that Azerbaijan is becoming middle power. What are the conditions for Azerbaijan to become a middle power? Well, first of all, we need to establish for ourselves what is middle power. It's not about geography, it's not about population, it's mostly about foreign policy choices. And uh, for example, in 16th century, Italian scholars were discussing that there were distinguishing states between great powers, middle powers, and small powers. But then, of course, it was about geography. Uh, but the, the notion middle power, in a way we use it today, geopolitically, is a relatively new notion. And the uh, first uh, time I think that the first country which self-defined itself as a middle power was Canada, because Canada was part of the British Empire and Commonwealth. And when they, after the Second World War, realized that they are sovereign power with foreign policy choices, they decided to define themselves a power of middle ranking. What does it mean? It means that it's not a great power, it's not a superpower. So it's a very humble beginning. You realize that your position is limited, your choices are limited, but still you are of consequence to the world. And uh, it is about mostly uh, foreign policy choices. It's about global initiatives. Are you capable of making global initiatives? Are you capable of changing rule-based international law system, for example? Uh, and that is at the very heart of this type of powers. Uh, and uh, in the theory of international law, they are described as norm entrepreneurs, which means that they are playing important role in creating international norms and they are indispensable part of multilateral diplomacy. In multilateral diplomacy you don't have global superpowers, you don't have sphere of influences, you have international law players, actors, and they all involve in creating international law norms. So that's exactly what middle power is. I mean, uh, definition is very fluid. Uh, I mean, the, from different perspectives we may come up with different constructs. Uh, but generally it's about initiatives, it's about mediation, it's about being active, for example, in climate change. It's about, uh, for example, certain nations which have peacekeeping contingency in different countries. That also forms part of that definition. So the definition is very fluid. It's not a legal definition. It's a, a notion which has been developed in the sphere of international law. And, uh, for example, with great powers, you have certain legal recognition. For example, Security Council permanent members, Britain, France, uh, Russia, China, United States, these are great powers. United States is a superpower, of course. But when it comes to middle powers, the definition is very fluid. For example, Italy, on occasion it has been described as a great power, on occasion as a middle power. So for that reason, the definition is very fluid. When it comes to Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan is a new player. It has come to this international contestation very, very newly. It's we regained our independence in 1991. I mean, if you want to ask me about what makes Azerbaijan middle power, probably that will be the following question. But I will, I can tell you briefly that in terms, in, when it comes to Azerbaijan, Azerbaijan has been growing as a middle power for the past 15 years because it's about independence, it's about economic self-sufficiency and of course Second Karabakh War was a critical moment because when you have your own problem inside you cannot uh, claim that you're a player of consequence to other players. So I think the Second Karabakh War was an important moment in our national history uh, and uh, energy export capabilities is indispensable element of Azerbaijan's global ranking. Azerbaijan exports energy, uh, 10 BCM per annum. Uh, Azerbaijan uh, plays important role in the energy security of uh, southeastern Europe. Uh, so Azerbaijan makes decisions which affect the countries beyond its presumed reach. And that's exactly uh, what uh, we mean. For example, Robert Cutler uh, recently wrote an article where he described Azerbaijan middle power. Uh, and uh, first, time, if memory serves me correctly, in Azerbaijani scholarship, this notion was introduced by Dr. Esmira Jafarova. Uh, she is a scholar of the Strategic Center of International Relations. She wrote a seminal work uh, titled uh, Is Azerbaijan Middle Power in 2020 in May? And that was the first articulation of the idea that Azerbaijan could potentially be middle power. If you ask me whether Azerbaijan uh, confirms with this definition, I would say probably strict definition not yet. We are still emerging, we are rising within this scope of definition. But within the extended definition, yes, definitely Azerbaijan is there. So it's a fluid definition, it's not set in stone, right? It's not set in stone, definitely, because, I mean, it's not a legal definition. Uh, uh, no United Nations report or any document or any source of international law says that these are the uh, classification, these are the, uh, the features which middle power should have. Well, we have 
in the theory of international law, of course, uh, there are certain accounts of what middle power is. Uh, and definition is very fluid, as you said rightly, because economically it doesn't have um, a certain stone definition because cer certain countries are developing, certain countries are developed, and when it comes to middle power, you don't have a particular requirement. Uh, for example, with great powers, it's very, very uncertain. For example, Russia has got a seat, uh, permanent seat as the United Nations Security Council, so geopolitically it matters a great deal. It's a great power. At so a certain stage in the history, it was even superpower, uh, but economically it's not developed. Uh, it's not a developed country economic-wise. That's what I uh, meant to say. So uh, yet, yeah, it's very fluid. Uh, it's developing. Uh, and as long as Azerbaijan's place in this classification is concerned, I think that Azerbaijan will increase its cloud and become even more consequential. Uh, but from my perspective, if to be absolutely honest, we are a newcomer to this area, to this area of contestation. Our importance will increase. Uh, but of course, in order to be deep entrenched middle power, like Australia, for example, Canada, uh, we need some time. But we will get there, of course. Thank you very much, Orhan, for shedding light on such important and ambiguous topic. Thank you very much indeed, Ilham. It was d delightful to discuss this matter with you. Thank you. That was all for the week. Thank you very much for watching us, and stay tuned not to miss the next edition of our program.